You tell Hulk Hogan. <laughs> what, what does the name Tiny come from? Because you big as hell. Right. So I love what 50 doing. Man, man. Well, how much weight did he lose in that movie? I think he lost maybe like a, uh, 60 pounds. Damn, tell 50, 60. tell 50 I'm trying to lose my gut. Tell him, tell, tell him I'm trying to lose my stomach. What you remember about working with Pop? <laughs> what kind of dude was he? He was uh, easy going. Like, you know, like you, like Fit. Um, back on La Siena, because the, the hotel was called, it's called something else, but, but back then it was called Nico. The Nico Hotel, and I go over there. Because Andrew Pfeiffer is my Jewish cat, and he wanted to do films with, with the blacks. And he he was doing all these movies with John claude Van Damme and Dolph Lunger. So I, one year, I got all the cast together. Pac met with them. Dre, Q, Snoop was going through a murder trial at that time, and he met. What's the other guy named uh, from Long Beach? Warren G? Yeah, yeah Warren G. They yeah. all met with my this cat. Cause they looked at me as they big brother in Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? Cause I've been doing this for 30 years, and they, and everybody knew I was from the, from the hood too, and they said big, but they know they know I wasn't gonna put them with the wrong people. But um, when you work with Dustin Hoffman, when you don't work with Marlon Brando, Omar Sharif, Peter O'Toole, forget the movie stars I don't work with, these are icons. Oh, I forgot Faye Dunaway, dancing with Jenny Depp and Don Juan. The young, one of the baddest young actors to ever come along. You got something to say. And uh, I told you John Sigmundson saw it, and he saw it, and he, when I was at the Michael Jackson funeral, work with Mike. Michael Jackson. I don't work with 50. <laughs> I don't work with Mike. I don't work with Pac. I don't work with Brando. Yeah. That's, a, that's a pretty <laughs> colorful Damn. group of people right there, man. <laughs> Hulk Hogan considered the greatest wrestler ever live. I work with him, my directors, from Luke Bassan to Chris Nolan to Quentin Tarantino. Walter Hill started my career. James Foley, F. Gary Gray. Oof, man, it's just Roland Emery, Rennie Harlan. Roland Emery do them big $200 million films, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I did his, a film called Universal Soldier with John Claude and Dolph Lundgren. I love that movie. Yeah, and that was Roland Emery. He had two cigarettes in, he had a cigarette in his hand. He had a cigarette in his hand, man. He dead ass <laughs> He said, Tiny, uh, you don't light yourself on fire? Shit. <laughs> ain't light myself on fire. Not for this <laughs> movie. Because what happened, you don't die from the fire. Mm. You die from being ignorant, mm. uneducated. And the uneducated is from inhaling the field. Because it was reported, and I don't know how true it was, the doctor came out and said, our little brother that we lost in uh, Fast and Furious, right? Paul Walker. Yeah, I saw it on the news. I don't know if it was true. The doctor said he was still alive from the, the conclusion, but he died from the funeral. Because when you inhale the fumes, it burns and fries your, lung, your lungs, man. And so we, I don't know a lot about fire, so I don't ever... I ain't never worked with Roland Emmerich no more, but I say, Roland, I love you, baby. But, you know, it's, it took too long for me to make it. You learn, you, learn, you learn something in life. It only takes a second to die. It only takes a second to be gone forever. So life means too much for me. I ain't taking no chances, man. You always been like that, man? You always had that much, much respect for life, or was yeah. it ever, ever, ever Well, like, you know, everybody in my hood wanted to get a Hardy Davis. Mm. Okay? And Compton. Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Okay. It's a friend, a friend, same agent. My, at one time, I had a lawyer that had one. My brother always has them. So everybody around me had them, but I refused to go visit that concrete down there. You know what I'm saying? Because I would, you know, deep on Zeus, we had to get, would mess up on that motorcycle and go visit that concrete that that two-ton trucks drive over, right? Mm -hmm. And... It will humble Debo. It will humble Zeus. It will bust his ass open. You know what I'm saying? So you got to remember who you are. I did a movie called Meteor Man. Ah. Okay. Robert Townsend. I was basically still Zeus in the WWF. Just got right. to doing that. And I was benching 575 pounds. God damn. I, I was on that sauce. I was taking oh, that sauce. You were just going to put it on that? You was on that Barry Bonds, man? Shit. On that Jose Canseco? Oh, no, I love Barry. Like, Barry is bad. Let me tell y'all. Barry was the most feared man in baseball. Nobody would pitch to him. The most walk man in the history of baseball. They can say what they want to say. He's a bad MF. That's my dude. I'm a big Barry Bonds fan and a Deion Sanders fan. 
Dion. I, I missed the prime time. <laughs> Barry, people would fear him. And there was a white cat that I was really crazy about, too, named Roger Clemens. They can say what Roger. they want, man, about these cats. These cats are the baddest dudes there. Is. Yeah. And uh, so I'm, I did it because I had to be bigger than Hulk. And so I, you know, I took it when I was in the WWF. That's why I told you. When I did Zeus, hell yeah, I took them steroids. Should they start paying me money, I ain't never made before. So I said, hey, shoot me in the butt. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, you motherfucker! That was that time. So, and I, I did a movie called Meteor Man. I was benching 575, and, and that's when the Rodney King verdict came down, so they moved the movie to, to uh, Baltimore. And I had, they had, they had this big old truck chain, and uh, I was walking with a tiger. So I'm from Compton. I'm Zeus. Oh, they rap about me. Shit, that tiger was sending messages to me like rubbing up against my butt. Big black MF. I will beat your ass. Yeah. <laughs> if I want to break away from this chain right. and rip you a new one, and you felt the insecurities in you. Mm. You'd be saying to yourself, God, if you can get me out of this situation. Because mm. we were shooting in the hood, and but we weren't about guns going off. Mm. So what happened with Zephyr and Roy, I respect predators. I respect sharks. Eddie Griffin wanted me to get it when we was in South Africa doing a movie in the, in the Shark Tank. She ain't getting no Shark Tank, man. I, I, made it from, I made it out of Compton. I ain't, right. Like, yeah, I ain't going doing, back there. I ain't no big white shark going to be my. I mean, why would I get in his world and, and, and say hello? And then he going to say hello, too. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not in my world. Give me a bicycle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Know what to do with that bike. So I respect, I respect, I respect death. And I respect life, man. So things happen. Right. So I don't want to be in a situation where things happen. Right, right. You, know you want to always be in control. Yeah. yeah I got a five-year-old daughter that expects daddy going to come in that door every day. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to do. Now, do you do you feel like um, you, you, you've been typecast as Debo and Zeus and whatnot? Because a lot of people don't even know about the other work that you've done. Yeah, you I'm here. You know what I'm saying? You know, the typecasting is, 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 is cool, but when people are ignorant and and don't know how deep you really are, when they ain't like, when my fans, they have never watched One Night with the King. The hell with being a Christian, just watch the movie One Night with the King, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and see old Marsha Reef and Peter O'Toole and John Reese Davis and John Nobles from Lawyers of the Ring and the Hollywood variety and the Hollywood reporters that I had the performance of the film. And you up here talking about Debo? Shit, go watch me with in the movie with Esther. Go watch that and watch how our relationship is so explosive on camera. We didn't work with Falcon Jensen and Rachel Weiss. <laughs> Man, what the heck? Oh, Rachel won an Oscar too, huh? Mm. Wow. Mm. I go back and look at how many people I done worked with that won the Oscars. So that's what I want to do with 50. I want to win that. I want to be with him when he won his first Oscar. So calling you out, big little brother, come on, get, call your big brother. And pull him along in the gym and get me back in some kind of shape. Because <laughs> the younger brothers got to take care of older brothers now, you know? That's what we're supposed to do for each other. Exactly. Brother. They watched me on TV for a long time. I've got. I've been very blessed to work with the. And and and, and, the, and in this interview, everybody got to know this. If you go back and look at my career, the the rappers has been my key. To like you said, y'all just talked to Akon. Yeah, I work, got to work with the great Akon, and he he tell y'all got to text him for me because I don't know how to text. And uh, he, I missed the party at his house, and uh, I wish I could have been there. And uh, I'm I'm proud of where I was. I I, I wish that I would did the mini man. Ooh, I want to do another video with Fifty. Mm. I don't want to be in a, on a bicycle. I want to be on a, in a Rolls Royce or something. I want to do a movie with Fifty where I'm basically like I'm Suge Knight. Suge Knight. I'm Goliath, and he's David the Bible. I want to make, and that's why he got to go back and look at game related with Pop. Pac wanted me to do that thing because he wanted to look believable. Mm. He wanted people to feel that he was insecure. Mm. He was in a vulnerable state. You know, he did wrong. But if you bring the wrong kind of black cat, and I ain't gonna say no names for camera. Y'all know what I said off camera. I don't know if y'all were taping it. No, no, nah, nah, we ain't no, like that. Don't. I'm, I'm, but the, it's, it's just being real. Like, you know, it's a difference between I'm just leaving it alone, man. It's hard. Word. It's hard because 
Because we don't want to know the truth, you know what I'm saying? Because it's offensive. You know, but it's a difference between uh, Fifty and Vanilla Ice. It's a difference. Now, don't don't mean no disrespect, but he, he's calling from a deeper place. He's calling from a deeper place, man. And uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm calling from a deeper place. And I'm secure enough to show you that I ain't never a big old baby. Wow. But I can wake up if I need to wake up. 15 minutes, <laughs> I slap somebody. They mess. They act wrong. <laughs> word, word. So, with that being said, who is Tiny List? Uh, all in your vocals, you've been worrying. A culture vulture, premature, whole nigga for burying. Two new Colombians, you get to choose a flurry when your money thin. Your rep is fumbled, and here come a curry spin. Dragging in comparison, hip hop on my tail. I took the wagon out to Madison. You bragging.